Hey there, wanted to show you my makeup routine from Arbonne. I was just getting ready to put on my makeup and <clears throat> I learned a new little um, like order of how to put some things on from my friend who learned it from a makeup artist. So I wanted to try it out. I already started with my moisturizer. I used the Agewell moisturizer. I also had used this um, the toner, the serum, eye cream, moisturizer. So I did my whole um, routine. I'll show you that in a different video of what I do, but I'm going to start with the pressed powder and this one is medium colored and there's about four different shades from Arbonne. And so you can put it on with a brush or you could also put it on with one of these little pads. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the brush and just go everywhere with including your eyes under the eyes. Okay, so um, that one is the pressed powder. Second, I'm going to put on our primer. So um, the primer is really great for keeping your makeup on all day and it keeps your makeup from falling into your fine lines and your pores and you will feel like you're putting like satin on your face. It is amazing feeling. So put that on. I'm just going to go across my eyes. We do have a separate primer for your eyes and I'm just um, using this one, but that's definitely an option as well. So um, highly recommend this. This is a favorite product for so many of my clients, including myself. I find that I have to use a lot more foundation if I don't use the primer under it. So um, highly recommend that. Next, I'm gonna put on my liquid foundation and the color I'm using is um, neutral beige and I'm happy to help match you up if that's something that you need help with. You could um, use any kind of like a foundation brush to put it on. I am just someone that just tends to use my fingers. I just kind of dot around and then blend in with my fingers. So um, definitely could use a foundation brush. I just think it goes on really well with my fingers. Um, you want to um, kind of go in a downward motion with your um, foundation just because not doesn't really matter on your forehead so much, but we do tend to have little fine little hairs on our face and so um, it kind of pushes those down. That's a little tip I learned from a makeup artist. Um, so this one, like I said, neutral beige um, is a good one for me for the winter time. I have to go a little darker than this in the summertime, but I can definitely help you figure out a color. Um, the way I, I try to match up a color for someone is doing it right on the jawline and the foundation color that kind of disappears into the skin tends to be the one that's the right color for them. So, um, and if the color doesn't work out that we get ordered for you, they will um, definitely let you um, exchange it or really they just will let him just send you another one. And so um, we'll definitely make sure we get the right color. And then now I'm gonna do concealer. This is medium neutral. And so I'm gonna just do a couple little dots of the concealer and then I use my ring finger to pat that in. And you don't want to pull on this eye area too much because it's really fine thin skin around the eyes and um, the less tugging the better for that little delicate area around your eyes. And I might be able to actually go down a shade from this. This is what I was using in the summertime and I think I probably could go down a shade uh, there's about six different shades of concealer that Arbonne has, but I love our concealer because it doesn't get cakey and show the little fine lines around your eyes, kind of hydrating for your eyes as well. So that is the concealer. And then um, next I'm going to use the um, Star Glow palette and mine's been loved a lot, as you can see here. Um, and so I'm going to use this top corner here. You can kind of see it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um, this is a great highlighter. And so I'm going to use this one just right underneath the eye area. And Arbonne has really great brushes too, you guys. Um, and they're very inexpensive. I think like $40 for like six or seven brushes. So you guys, you can't even get, I don't even know if you can get one brush for $40 anymore, like in a department store. So highly recommend our brushes and they have like every um, size of brush that you need in there. So I highly recommend it. And then the, um, the highlighter, the other place I put that is maybe just tip of the nose on the forehead. And um, just kind of everything that you want to bring forward is where I use that. And then so you can kind of already see that little bit of just a glow that's coming through on my skin now. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is the contour and that's this one down here. So there's opposite 
here and I use that one in kind of the parts I want to take backward and so like I want to create this like jaw I'm sorry not jaw but cheekbone and then I will also do kind of at the jawline as well you just want to make sure you're doing lots of good blending too so you don't look like you have a line of those things and then I also do it in my temples too so this is all the contouring I love this palette um really awesome. Um, and then this is the bronzer. And so I'm going to use a little bit bigger brush for that. And you can just kind of do just a little dusting of that across your face to just give it that nice little glow. And then next I'm going to use, sometimes I use this one as the blush, but I actually am going to use just our regular blush. We have these really great blushes. This one is um, called Fig. It's a great one. Um, I also love rhubarb. I actually think I'm going to use rhubarb today it's a little bit more pinky and I start out right up here and go right into the hairline and these blushes are great because if it gets to be too dark it has two different shades um, <clears throat> that are in there and so you can kind of do a, a blend of the two different shades of blush that come in the compact so go right up into that hairline with that and then um, I'm gonna do I'm doing a little blending there. Um, and then I'm going to do <clears throat> the rose colored lipstick. So it's one of my favorite ones um, that Arvon has. And looking for a lip brush. Don't know where it is. Okay, we're just going to put it on. I can't find my lip brush. Okay, and then um, final thing is I love our lip oils. So this is the strawberry colored one. So I just do a touch of that to give a little glow. And so that's my main like foundation and I need to do eyes <clears throat> as well. So I'll do that in a separate video. Have fun.